Hello everybody, my name is Vex and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play online in this game called Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. It's new, but there's now a mod for people to play online. Originally, this game is not online, so this is PC only, but as you can see, I'm playing with someone and then I go down here, I see another person skating around. So what I want you guys to do is head over to this site. I have it in the description. Go ahead and press get app. At the top, where it says get Thunderstore app, click this, and then you'll be headed over to this. It looks very iffy, and I was not sure about it at first. I got it. I haven't noticed anything so far. I don't know, but it works just fine. Once you got it installed, you can just do the normal just installing like you do with any other app. But then the weird thing is that there's going to be a little bar that pops up on the left, this little circle thing. I have... I. I disabled it, but you just go to settings and you click to have it to where it does not have any overlay. And there you go. Once you have this open and you have it running just fine, I want you to scroll down and to go to Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Press select game, and then I want you to press select file. Once you have this, you will not have these two yet. What you will have to do next is go back to this site and go click on install with mod manager. It will bring up a pop-up saying it's installing. Once it does, it'll be on here. That's not where it ends. What I want you to do is go to settings. Once you go to settings, I want you to go to change bomb rush cyberfunk directory. So what you need to do is find your steam folder, go to steam apps, common bomb rush cyberfunk, and there you go. Uh, it'll be wanting the executable, which is the exe. So click on this, click open and boom, you have it done. And then now before you even go back into the game, I want you to go to edit config because we're going to try to edit your username. You want to open up slop crew, which is the code name for multiplayer mod or whatever. You open this up, go to edit config, and then your username is right here. So initially it's going to be big slopper. That's just the default name. I put mine to my username. You can put yours to who, whatever you want to put it as, and then you press save and then it'll be saved, but be aware that if you have the game open, you're going to have to relaunch it for the name to appear or or for the mod to work in general if you had the game open while you were installing all of this. So once you have this done and you have it enabled and you have your name changed, you want to instead of opening through Steam, you want to click on modded right here. It will open up the game with the mods and now you will have the game, but now you have the multiplayer mod. It's pretty simple. I think there might be another way to install the mod. I have tried it, but it didn't seem to work for me. So I don't know if I did it wrong or not, but this way seems to work just fine for me. So when you open the game, it should have Slop Crew V1.0.2 or whatever version of it, because you know, the mod is still new, so it's getting updated, but it should have Slop Crew version whatever. It may glitch uh, sometimes, so you might have to reload either the game or the just the file. I don't know, but as you can see, now I have players on here. I do have to warn you though, it does get a little choppy with frames. Uh, so some things that might work or help with this is turning down the graphical settings. You know, I don't think there's anything else. If there is, if you have any questions, I might be able to answer them. I don't know yet, but we'll see. But yeah, that's about it. My name is Vex. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, all of that. And yeah, I have some more Bomb Rush videos and that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. Stay goaded.